be talking about boom there's been some news big news there's some changes coming you need to know about them so let's talk about them right now if you are new or returning welcome here it's all primary week talk teach your side hustles since i think november boom has been sending out emails about some changes that are coming to boom the big one right now so there's been a couple the first one they announced that fees were going up again. They went up 40%. To renew as a publisher will be $69.99. Why don't you just make it 70? Really? I mean, who are you fooling? <laughs> $69, seventy US. It was 50. That's quite a change. Boom. I just I don't agree with it. They're, and they're saying it's because, you know, cost of inflation. Um, I don't believe Boom is making money. And there's things that they were said that was said at the recent informational meeting. And, you know, I, so I think we as sellers are the ones who are going to have to pay for this. It doesn't matter whether your Boom cards are renewing now or in the next three or four months. You can renew them at $50.00. And that will uh, kick in as of your actual exp exploration, expiration date. <laughs> Actually, my boom cards, my boom license doesn't expire until July. I have already renewed at the $50 mark. And um, we'll, we'll see about next year. We'll see, right. But that was change number one. The other change that they have talked about, but it is not implemented. Do, you did not hear me say it's happening but I think it will be. And that is they've changed the service fees to include 10% on all external marketplaces. So TPT is an external marketplace. Uh, there was a office, office hours meeting done at Boom and they have said it is not implemented if you go to, I'll, send, I'll show you a screenshot. This is on Boom's website. They want the option to charge on TPT sales. Where does this all come from? The biggest thing is Boom is learn, losing money every time there's a TPT sale, a, a, a sale of a Boom deck over on TPT. They're getting nothing. TPT makes the sale, takes 20%. Or more depending on the on the total of the uh, costs and T boom makes nothing off that and they also have all these free accounts where people are buying free stuff and boom is having to pay for all that so they are trying to decide whether to um, switch up the free account or to charge sellers again 10% it's coming no date but here's the big one. So during the informational meeting on just a few days ago, uh, the co-founder, Eric Omig, talked about accessibility tools. And basically, uh, they want to be available. He, they want Boom Cards to have uh, relationships and, and collaborations with schools. But more and more states are changing their legal language that educational resources have to have accessibility tools attached to them. Now, accessibility tools are needed. Do Are they needed for all students? No, not at all. In fact, in my 20, it's almost 27 years now of teaching, I've only needed them a couple times. But I don't work directly with special needs students. I have kids who have learning challenges and they need extra support boom cards have worked fine for them because I give audio instructions but anyways so Eric basically said that every boom deck is required to have accessibility tools and this is by they all and I said he said all all sellers are required to do this and comply by July 1st wait for the year 2025 basically one year to get all of your decks, and some of you have over a thousand decks, 500 to a thousand, I've heard is what I'm hearing, all of them, or they do not list them. 
this kind of sits wrong with me and I'll tell you why. I don't understand why Boom just doesn't create a separate category of resources that are strictly for accessibility than to make all these all of this work for sellers. If you sell Boom cards, Boom is already showing the messages on your Boom decks. You might not have been in your Boom decks for a little while. So I'm going to show you one that I did while Eric was talking because <laughs> I wanted to see how long it would take me. And I took a small one and I'll show it to you. And then I'm going to show, I'll do one in front of you just for, just take a couple minutes and I'll show you what you do. But I'm not doing 100% of the stuff. They're still working out Z orders, right? If you're in Boom, you know that, the Z order. And there are limits to how much you can say in the text. So basically you need an alt text for all your images. You don't need it for background stuff at the moment. And if you create your boom cards on something like PowerPoint, and so you're bringing over one image, you won't be able to do this. They are aware of this. Okay, so you can't do anything for those. Some of my decks are done that way. Some of my decks are not done that way. So, right, and, and I mean, then there's no way of showing, this is what I would like Boom to do. There is no way of showing what decks are actually comply. You know, I wish they'd put a, a check mark or something on the deck. So, because now I've got to keep track of all my decks, of which ones I've done the, made the tool change and which ones I have not. I mean, really, I've only done two. But these alt texts are required for all your images, your sounds, and your texts. Okay. And there are times when you're, you've got an image on there that's just simply decor. Those ones can be left and, there, and the word none has to be typed. Something has to be typed. And even though right now your images probably say what they are, they will still want you to type it. It's considered missing. And I'll show it to you. Anyway, okay. Let me flip the camera around and let's do that. Okay, this is just a simple three-digit addition to, I think, 30 or something like that. And this is where you will see it. So right now you can see that uh, this is all black. This is what you want. Okay, so I went in and I changed this accessibility. Now let me just quickly go into another one just so you can see. But this is what you're looking for. And this is what you want. You want it so there's no red writing here. So I can go into any, almost any other one of mine. And you can see this. So let me just go to, this one's got 32. Okay, so here you go. Here are all the red. So I have to fix all of these. Okay, the text has already been done. Type in the sum. It says that, right? But every image, it does not read that this is a blue nine. So I now have to go in here and type it. Number nine. Now, I am also doing this in the template. So by doing this in the template, it will fill all the rest, but I'll have to change the number because it's not always going to be the number nine, right? But sometimes it will be. So now it's gone black, okay? And then this one, this is an equal sign. It's not, whoops, did I just go off the, uh, uh oh, I see, I already see a problem here. Equal symbol. A minute, so I'm just going to do this again. So all of these are typed in, so I'm now black. But if you look, as I mentioned when I just had done this one, they're out of order here. I got to be able to find a way to put these in order. So it should say nine addition symbol, nine equal symbol, right? And then fill in the blank, but they don't. So that's something that has to be fixed. And then as you can see with these ones, these are all decor, and so I just typed in bear pirate decor, treasure chest decor, pirate told holding coins decor, and then the sound I typed in, type in the sum audio, so that they know that that's the audio. When the, those who are using this, this doesn't show up for everybody. Like if I go to preview, you'll say, where is this, right? It's not showing. It shows up on a screen reader. So Someone who needs accessibility tools has a screen reader and they use that there. Okay, so that's why we can't see it. 
But I've, so I've typed all this in on the template. If I move to the number one, okay, and I, and I have started doing this one already, but I actually have to, um, all these extra coins here are these coins. So that's why it says pirate holding extra coins. This one is the same as the template. That's fine. But if I go to number two, and you can start seeing the red showing up again. I type here, it's saying number six, because again, I started fixing this one already. But the next one, that's okay, that's an equal sign. And then this one is the addition symbol, it's fine. But this one is different, and I don't know why it's way down there. But this one is number six. So I gotta type in number six, but they're all out of order. And this is where the problem is. This is an, whoops. And I've already got this pirate holding extra coin, pirate holding extra coin. This is actually intended to be a visual, but the way I've created this, I can't do that. Actually, I can. I'm just, I've been thinking about this one. What I could do is I could say um, pirate holding coins, six in one hand and six in the other hand right so i could do that and then i could do these ones actually as decor oops coin decor so that should be okay like i said some of these i have to think about how is this going to come across for someone who who i can't see it and so that this top one here I got to go back to this one because again this picture I should be saying pirate holding coins nine in one hand and nine in the other hand that one now is pretty much right it's again it's the out of order so now if you notice I've gone vertical so I got four oops four plus four see that one's dropped down below there crazy Number four. This one says number nine because it's from the template. I got to just change it to the number four. The addition symbol's fine. Fill in the blanks fine. But again, fill in the blank should be type in the sum. The sound says type in the sum. This is treasure chest decor. It's fine. This is I just added coins. So this is just uh, coin decor copy that. So you can't leave it blank. If I leave it blank, whoops, see what I just did? I didn't hit. Okay. That's now, it's just taken me a few minutes and I've only done three. And again, they're not in order. So this one's, this deck's got 32. So I, I suspect it could be an hour's work for maybe one deck. I don't know. My, the ones I, the one I did while I, he was talking took me about 20 minutes. A lot of work. For me, I have less than 70 decks. I think I have 70, 68 or something. I could do this in a year. And right now I will, I will do it. But I'm not sure whether, I'm not personally sure whether it is going to be worth my time. I don't make a lot of money anymore. Since they made some algorithm changes, my sales have tanked. Um, they are not interested in helping the seller out with um, data to show, A, what's, what's being seen, what are my top selling, much like TPT does. Because they may, Eric made some comment about, you know, we don't want people manipulating the algorithm. Whatever. Okay. Really, what they want everyone on Boom to be is a premier publisher because they basically said that if you don't comply they're not showing your stuff and if you are making a new deck as of july this stuff is in effect for those of you who have the boom checklist that i sell i am going to update it to add the alt text information that and other accessibility stuff that features that you need they are working on it there is a heap of comments and feedback in the boom publishers facebook group that's best place for you to go they haven't got all the answers. They are working on stuff, and I hope they fix some stuff soon. Okay, but that's boom, all right?
And if you have any questions about Boom, let me know down below what you think of these changes. Are you, If you are a Boom seller, are you going to continue with Boom? What are your plans and what are you going to add now to your summer plans? So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe, being healthy, and we'll catch you in that video or the playlist. Bye.